Good morning. Uh, my name is Sham Kera. I am a director of graduate studies in the computer science department at University of Texas at Dallas. And I welcome you all to this session. Uh, we are a one of the largest computer science departments uh, in US. Now before I go ahead, uh, I would like all of you to look at the first slide and think about when you are going to ask me questions, your goal, what is that you are looking for, undergraduate, BS, MS, or PhD, uh, your area of interest, uh, is it engineering, computer science, and again, uh, your specialization, if it's computer science, are you interested in networking, or it is intelligence systems, or information security, so please think about it. Uh, when you are going to ask me those questions. Uh, one of the important things uh, you would like to know about how you would fund your education. And that's about uh, talking about the financial aid. And also think about uh, what all the things have you done to get ready for getting into a graduate school or an undergraduate school. Uh, have you taken any of those standardized tests uh, like an SAT, TOEFL, ACT, GRE, GMAT, and so on. You can also ask me questions about how to get your applications ready for the graduate school. Now, since I am the director of graduate studies in the computer science department, I would have more information on that. Uh, certainly, uh, I will I'll also try to answer any other questions you may have from uh, other areas. UT Dallas uh, is a part of UT system with an enrollment of 19,000 plus students. We have for the undergraduate program, uh, we have one of the highest SAT scores in a Texas University. We have about 444 tenure track professors and uh, of which close to 200 were hired in last five years. And they all come from one of the top universities in, from U.S. and other parts of the world. Now, one of our uh, achievements is that in last five years, our research expenditures have increased in multi-fold. So at this point, we are close to spending about $100 million in research expenditure. This is for the whole university. Now, coming to the job prospects, uh, uh, you'd all be wondering, what kind of job prospects are there? This is a study from uh, Bureau of uh, Labor Statistics, which says that till 2018, the projection is that the jobs in, in the STEM sense, STEM basically means science, technology, engineering, and math. In the STEM area, 71% of the jobs are likely to be in computing. And then you can also see the different uh, areas of computing where the jobs are, like in research, in computer support, and so on. Now, uh, the CS department is one of the largest uh, in the U.S. today, with about 43 tenure-track faculty, 11 senior lecturers. Uh, the number of TAs and RAs in our, in our department are about 120. So there's a lot, plenty of opportunities for RA and TA. Uh, about 1,400 students basically are in our department, BS, MS, and PhD. Uh, we are also ranked pretty good in the publications and as part of our graduate CS program. Our research expenditure just for the computer science department is close to $10 million. And our faculty members published over 250 papers last year. Now, our department being so large, we offer a large variety of courses. And one of the strongest areas of, our, of the CS department is the human language technology, that is, intelligence system area, the computer science theory, the networking, computer systems and security, and software engineering. Now, the CS department also has several research institutes, and you can look at these where we are doing very active research. Some of our funding comes from all these federal and state departments like NSF, DARPA, US Army, EPA, TI, 
companies like TI, Alcatel, uh, Raytheon, Intel, and so on. University of Texas at Dallas, we are uh, in a uh, heart of U.S. There are about 600 companies, small and large companies, in about five mile radius around our university. Now this place is also called Telecom Corridor. You can Google it and you would see that what is a Telecom Corridor because there are so many companies in this area. So there are plenty of opportunities for students who go to school here to take up internship. I would basically end here my short presentation and if you have questions I will start answering them. I have with me, uh, I, I forgot to introduce, I have with me Mina. Uh, she is a PhD student in the computer science department and she is from Iran. Hello, thank you so much for your presentation. And uh, if students have questions, do not hesitate and type it for us in the question box, Q&A box. Thank you. Please go ahead, Arya. Uh, go ahead and express what your question is.